Man, there's nothing out here in outer space. I really wish that I could do something like a Monday report for SBTV. I'm Augie Chappas, and this is your Monday Report. Well, Vikes, as you can see, I've been eaten by two of the plant from a little shop of horrors, but I'm still going to do the Monday Report anyway. So here is your announcements for today. Attention AP students. Taking an AP course? Let your teacher know your interest in taking an AP exam. If you applied for the internship program, internships will begin to, interviews will begin tomorrow at, from March 6th and 7th and 9th at, from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Interviews will resume after spring break from March, on March 27th, 28th, and 29th. A call slip will be sent to your classroom when you are ready and you will report to C4 at your specified time. Interviews will be held in 10-minute increments, so please be prompt. Softball apparel is now available. Forms can be accessed from the softball webpage or hard copies may be picked up in the front office, athletic department, or from Coach Monholland in room 902. Apparel forms are due on by Thursday, March 15th. SHS Baseball will be hosting a dodgeball tournament on Saturday, March 10th at Seaman Middle School. Entry is $36 a team with six players per team. There's an elementary school, middle school, and high school slash adult divisions in the tournament. Enter your team now to support Seaman Baseball. Did you know that it's bad luck to tell an actor good luck? Say break a leg to your theater friends by buying a break a leg message. International Thespian Society will be selling these messages all week during lunch and at the show. For only a dollar, you can send a message to your friend in the cast or crew, and for five bucks, you can send one to the entire cast and crew. The Norse Nook, our school store, will be open on March 9th during all four lunches for students to buy Viking apparel. Don't forget to bring your money. Items include shirts, hoodies, jackets, hats, and other miscellaneous items. There will be an informational volleyball meeting for students interested in trying out for volleyball next year on March 14th during Channel 1 in Room W6. The Orchestra Parents Association will be having a fundraiser at AJ's Pizza today. AJ's is looking at, located at 1930 Southwest Westport Drive here in Topeka. If you mention that you are with the, there to support the orchestra, a portion of the proceeds will go to benefit the Orchestra Parent Association. The next Parent Afterglow meeting will be in the comments on Wednesday, March 14th at 7 p.m. If you want to see Tui and the rest of the cast here in a little shop of horrors, come see them this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7. And today is the start of severe weather awareness week, so we're, so we're going to leave you with a lesson from Josh on ways to receive weather information. See you later, Vikes! With severe weather season rapidly approaching, today, March 5th, marks the first day of severe weather awareness week in Kansas. Today, the theme is ways to receive weather information. Obviously, you can watch SVTV. But many times when there is threatening weather in the area, school is already out. Now yes, you should receive an alert on your phone for a tornado warning, but that just isn't enough. It doesn't cover severe thunderstorm warnings or any kind of watches. Weather radios are a great way of receiving alerts, but if you don't have one, apps you can download on your phone can serve a similar purpose. My personal recommendation is AccuWeather. Now tomorrow is Tornado Safety Day, and I'll have more details on that when the time comes. But for now, just know that there will be a tornado drill statewide tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.